Sago, Tante, Quay Quay, Kinawea. Greetings, my relatives. Grandmother Kim here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about medicine bags. Medicine bags come in many ways and in many styles. And um, sometimes people wear them around their neck. Sometimes they have them inside of their traditional bundles. Or if you're a dancer, you might have a, a medicine bundle tucked away somewhere on your traditional regalia. And they're made out of different things, usually hide. They can be made out of cloth. There's no right or wrong in that. Um, they come with different teachings and you can put all kinds of things inside of these. I wear a medicine bag regularly and it's just a little bundle for me that's been beaded on the front and has uh, some uh, deer skin on the back. And what you put inside of that um, is really dependent on why you're wearing that and what intentional practice you are following. Oftentimes people will put different plants inside of there. Some of those plants could include cedar, sage, sweetgrass, or tobacco. Sometimes there are other plant medicines inside of there. Sometimes you will put our beautiful stone beings inside of there, those grandmothers and grandfathers to, um, you know, maintain a sense of connection to our ancestors, to our teachings, to protections, or to territories that you may come from. Whatever you decide to put inside of your, your bags is entirely personal. And they're considered sacred, so we don't touch another's medicine bag. Um, we certainly don't ask what's inside of another's. But we talk about um, teachings connected to the things you may put inside of there. And uh, we try to honor that by embracing on the practice of wearing them. So if you don't have a medicine bag yet, learn about it. See if that's a practice in your territory. This is Grandmother Kim talking about medicine bags. Have a great day, everybody.